everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Move Show. My name is Ashana. Today I'm here to talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy video game. Now, there has been a Guardians of the Galaxy video game, but it's made by Telltale, which was a really good game, by the way. I didn't review it because it had came out, like, years before I actually played it. Telltale. I always say Tall Tale, but it's Telltale. But this game, and I made a review about the trailers. This game is made by Square Enix, but it's made by, like, um... It's a, like a, it's another division. Is it Crystal Dynamics? I think it's Crystal Dynamics. I think it's Crystal Dynamics. Either way, it's made by the guys who made Deus Ex Mach. Deus Ex. So those guys. The guys who made Deus Ex. Those are the guys who made this Guardians of the Galaxy game. And I got to tell you, people, it is great. It is such a fucking fun game. I'm playing it at this moment, but I'm far enough along that I feel confident in just giving you a review. Unless the fucking end just completely sucks, then maybe I'll come back and be like, make another video and be like, well, the end sucked, but the rest of the game was fun. This game is so much fun. They have captured, they have done this thing where it's like an amalgamation world. It's their own original version of the Guardians, but like, sort of and not. Because there are aspects of the Guardians, there's aspects of the team that are just like the movie. And there are aspects that are like the comics. Like certain aspects of like Peter Quill's origin is more like the comics. Certain aspects of their origins are like the comic. But like Rocket sounding a lot like the Rocket from the movies. Peter looking a lot like the Peter from the movies. You know, um, the whole way that um, the whole way that Drax talks, being like the way Drax talks from the movies. The Milano, the ship, the ship's game being called the Milano, like things of that nature. There are aspects of it that are just like the movie. But then you get into aspects that are like the comics. Like you get into like Thanos being killed by, like, this is just some overview stuff. We don't even know if it actually happened or not. You get into Thanos being killed by fucking, um, Drax. You get into, um, Peter's dad being, um, that, the, that, that, being that emperor of Spartex or whatever. I can't remember what his dad, what his, his actual dad was like some, was like some emperor of a kingdom. Like, you get into that actually being in this version. You get into so many different things. And then you get into the things that are original to this how Peter even got the name Star-Lord. I love this, by the way. Love this better than the movie. How often do you hear me say that? The way Peter actually got the name Star-Lord is actually much better than how he got it in the movies. He got the name Star-Lord because of a fucking hair metal band and the 80s called Star-Lords. And they play, and they, so, and Square Enix and them went out and got a band. I don't know if they found this, like, they got a band, they hired a band to make a soundtrack to, to be the voice of the freaking hell, of, um, the Star-Lords. And they play, and, like, their songs are so, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, oh, man, they actually got some good songs in there. You can look them up, I'm like, damn, man. I know they just got this band and just do this shit, but I'm thinking about looking these dudes up for real. Damn, like, these dudes know how to do this, man. And the whole thing with the voice cast is perfect. No one is miscast. The voice cast is perfect. The dynamics between the teams are so fun. The decisions you get to make as just Star-Lord, it actually works. I know a lot of people were worried when they heard that you could only play as Star-Lord. But trust me, it works in the context of the game. Because so much goes through Star-Lord. And Star-Lord has always been the centerpiece of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just how it's been. Even in the Telltale game, that's how it was in that game. And that game's a lot like this, where it's like, so, where it's like certain aspects of it is like the movies and certain are not and but like he's the heart of the films he's the heart of the movie he's the heart of the of the game he's the heart of the the team so it makes sense so much goes through him because he's the leader so and and, and you have to delegate so much and I'll, and I'll tell you sometimes it's a bit difficult because you don't want to piss one person off and decisions actually matter like they actually matter like, um, the minor spoilers, there's a decision you get to make near the beginning of the game about hiding something or hiding something else. And, like, if you, if you hide the right thing, it'll help you out later in the game. There are certain dialogue choices that completely change people's reactions to you and, and whatnot. And you can just piss people off. You can get, gain people's trust. It's kind of like that. And it's not like the biggest dialogue wheel. It's not like the fucking, it's not like Mass Effect or anything. Though I feel like the game could have been if it wanted to be. The combat system is fast and furious. And depending on what level you're playing on, challenging in a fun way. I wasn't, I was never angry when I died. When I died, I felt like I could have done better. Like, like, and that's kind of a crazy thing about the game. 
game. When I die in this, I feel like I could have done better. And there's just so much fun about this game. There's so much characters. The character dynamic is just fantastic. The dialogue is just amazing. Sometimes I just stand in a spot just to hear the dialogue and hear them go back and forth and talk because Rocket and Gamora and Drax just say something hilarious and I'm just in on it. And you know, you really want to keep the peace between the team, but you're like, ah, even the upgrade system and the certain weapons you get and things. I, I'm honestly, God, I am loving this game. I love it. I'm waiting for DLCs now. I'm like, you got me looking up DLCs and shit. Like, where are they coming out? Because I want more of this. And I'm like, damn. And, like, between this and the whole um, Skydance and the whole um, news that like Marvel's working with Skydance on a new video game with that direct head director of the Uncharted games as the head director on this new video game, Marvel is, Marvel is, uh, I don't know. You got the two Square Enix Spider-Man games. I know people have their problems with the Avengers game, but it's gotten better. It's gotten much better. And honestly, if you didn't play it before and you picked it up now, you'd have a lot more fun with it because it'd be a lot more story because they got the three DLCs out, three free DLCs out. That's like an extra two, three hours. Now more like more like an extra. That's like an extra four, six hours tacked on to the end of the to the end of it. Though honestly, if I were you, I'd probably wait until all the DLCs are out so you can just play the straight story and you really will maximize your enjoyment of the game. But I, actually, now that I think about it, I do feel bad for that game because it just so happened to come out after the Avengers were over. So it would probably help out if the Avengers movie was, of another Avengers movie was coming out. But since it's not, kind of just. Anyways, I digress. Guardians of the Galaxy, the game. Square Enix's Guardians of the Galaxy is a fucking blast. It's easy to pick up. It's not too over the top and complicated. The upgrade system is pretty straightforward. The costumes are great, and the costumes you unlock are great. It rewards you for venturing off and looking into things and looking into nooks and crannies. You get more lore of this original version of the Guardians of the Galaxy world. And like I said, I, the whole entire time, I'm having a blast. Like, I got it on pause right now because I'm having so much fun. I'm like, let me just review this movie. Let me just get this review out for this my movie. Let me just get this review out for this game. I love it. I love it. I'm having a blast playing it. I want to play more of it. Guardians, go get, go, if you're a Marvel fan and you ain't bought this game, if you're a Marvel fan and a gamer and you ain't bought this game yet, you fucking slip it. Guardians of the Galaxy, the game, gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I got little complaints. Okay, maybe a little. I'll give it a 9.5 or a 9. 9 out of 10. 9 out of fucking 10. I got very little complaints. I love this game. If you got a problem with this game, you got a problem with yourself. Anyways, thank you guys for the game. Nah, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, like, you know, if you're a Marvel fan, especially if you're a, a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, there's just no way you're not going to love this game. There's just no way. It's just it's too fun. It's too good. It just, just is. It's the best game I've played so far this year. And I really loved, um, you know, Far Cry 6. But this, this is, you know... High octane, man. I just love it. The soundtrack, the music. Oh, man. It, I'm just having a ball with this game. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please don't like, subscribe. And what did you think of Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game? Square Enix's Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game. Comment below. Let me know. And please remember to like, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.